Hello viewers, welcome to brand new episode of Campus Eye. I'm Rana. Let's have a look at this week's news. So grinders and mixies have made deep inroads into urban and rural households. The conventional grinding stones continue to be in demand and it is very rare to find a household without the traditional grinding stone. This village in Puttur is famous for making such grinding stones in an exquisite manner. Come, let's have a look at it. India is a land of rich and diverse cultural heritage. Nutritious, delicious and ethically sourced food is one of the vital constituents of the country's cultural legacy. New Age generation is inclined towards choosing food items that are locally sourced, organic and sustainable as they are becoming more aware of how their food choices affect the ecosystem. And subsequently, the demand for traditional grinding stones have also increased multifariciously, which is said to make the food taste 100 times better than a regular cooking equipment. These grinding stones that are manufactured in this village are exported everywhere in the state and other states too. However, due to the shortage of labourers, the industry is on the verge of extinction. In the village of Kalarpe, one can hear the sound of stone being carved. The grinding stone, which is most sought after by homemakers, is produced here. Though mixer grinder has replaced the traditional grinding stone in most of the households, Still, there are people who prefer the traditional grinding stone. It's believed that the masala that is ground in this type of traditional grinding stone has more taste. That's why this is exported as well. These are made from Somanata stone which is available in plenty in this village. But in the present days, the shortage of both stone as well as labourers has made the survival of this industry difficult. Only the elderly people are doing the work of cutting the stone and making it into a grinder. 
the young generation is not interested in this hard work. It will not be a surprise if the grinding stones of Kalarpe will be history in days to come. Though mixes and grinders have made deep inroads into urban and rural households, a few artisans in this taluk of Dakshina Kannada continue to survive making the back-breaking stone grinders, including big-sized mortars and pestles. A few more families survive making them in the nearby Bollai village. Two decades ago, there were many stone quarries with more than 100 artisans making the grinders. But you no longer get the right kind of stones from the quarries. However, as you approach this village of Kalarpe, the rhythmic sound of chiseling the grinders attracts you. of modern times, health-conscious young consumers across India have been ardently embracing conventionally and traditionally made grinding stones wholeheartedly. Disha with camera person Jovan for Team Campusite. Bricks and clay offer many benefits over other building materials, including their durability, affordability, ease of production, and versatility in design. Today, let's have a look at how these bricks are made. Bricks and clay are the two most versatile and durable building materials available. They have a wide range of advantages and from their low cost to their ability to be molded into any shape. The main raw materials needed for the production is clay. Two types of clay are mainly used for the production. Clays are collected and put into grinding machines. These well grinded clay then goes to the machine named pug mill for shaping.
After shaping, it is taken to top floor using a lift. These bricks are taken from the lift using finger cart and kept on the racks for drying. After 10 or 15 days, these semi-dried stalks are taken down for the next process. The wet clays are coming up through one side and the semi-dried are going down to the other side at the same time. Semi-dried bricks go from the lift to the conveyor and then to the firing rooms. Five workers will be working for filling the fire room. Once the room is filled, it is closed with bricks and muds. Then the burning starts. Wood pieces are put into the room from top floor for firing. These finished products are shifted from firing room to the conveyor and then to outside for selling. When I come and I do like uh, shift shuffling the people and all production part, uh, Loading, unloading, uh, that part I see. Not so much, nothing else. But then uh, other people, different, different supervisor is there. No, my my department is different. There are different qualities of bricks according to their finishing. Overburned are overfired bricks which will be in black color and underburned means which is not fully dried. There are lots of workers in this factory from different states like Jharkhand, Orissa, Chhattisgarh etc. The bricks we use are the result of many workers hard work and time.
Rana with camera person Razlan for team campus i that's all for this week's campus i thank you for watching see you next week until then stay tuned